bunch of meal right there. There we go. This is Diana Gonzalez. Those are your two girls? No. No, okay. No relation. <laughs> no relation, okay. My new sister's in Christ. Okay, well, there you go, there you go. <laughs> so Diana, tell us a little bit, like when you came to Christ and kind of what was surrounding that story? So for me, today is more of a rededication. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I really came to Christ, I was 17 and I was invited to a church and I was, went with my infant daughter. Okay. Um, so that was the first time been going to church and everything and recently the last few years I feel like I just there I, I realized that there was more than one way to, to fall away from God and for me that be, became routine so I mm. kind of got into the routine of things I didn't um, I think I wasn't appreciating what the Lord was doing and so for me I'm just here to rededicate myself and very cool um, appreciate yeah. everything he's done. Well, I'll tell you, during this past year, there are so many, uh, probably all of us at some point, that fell into those routines because, you know, we had to isolate and be at home or whatever those things were, and it got so hard. And yet during this season as well, when we had to step back from everything, uh, I don't know, it sounds like for you, I know it was for me as well, there was almost this um, renewal of faith, this renewal that no matter what else is taken away, God is with me. And and I'm glad you're here to take that step. Thank you. So you've asked Christ to be your Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you desire to live for him? Yes. Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for Diana. And I thank you, Lord, during this past season, Lord, that's been so challenging and hard that, uh, God, you've shown yourself faithful and true. And even when routine kind of slips in and causes us to just go through the motions and, God, it's so easy to, to relegate you to the sidelines, Lord, that... Uh, in your faithfulness, you don't abandon us or leave us or walk away, but you keep inviting us closer. You find ways, Lord, to show us that you're near and that you're true and that you're, you're, your love never, never fails and, and, and never fades. So I thank you for Diana that that was true this past year and she could stand here today uh, rededicating her life, taking that step once again to say, this is it, this is the real deal and I'm following you, Jesus. So I pray that you'd bless her and continue to lead her in every step. In Jesus' name, amen. Diana, because of your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.